Hello, I'm Dale Petrock. I had my Bugara BMR out to the range the other day and uh, decided to test it with four different types of ammo. In particular, I looked at Norm Attack 22, Ely Team, SK Rifle Match, and Lapu Center X to see kind of how they would do. Now, I don't anticipate that this ammo will shoot the same in your rifles or that this ammo, uh, the lots I've chosen here, are the best lots for this rifle or any other rifle, but this was to give me a sense of how well it performed in this context on this day. The weather wasn't bad, and uh, there was a light breeze, five to eight miles an hour maybe, and again, I was shooting at 50 yards. The rifle has a Swamp a Fox Patriot, 6x24 uh, scope on it, and the scope works very well, and I works, it works just like you would expect. Each type of ammo was fouled in and centered, and then I shot USB R targets, and also then measured it using a one inch diameter um, circle to see if it was within a minute of squirrel. And by minute of squirrel, I mean if I'm hunting squirrel, I tend to shoot at the head and I shoot for um, essentially seeing if I can hit that one inch circle ahead of a squirrel about one inch where I live. And so I consider that minute of squirrel to see how the rifle performed. And the reason is I don't see the BMR uh, steel bar rifle that I own as probably a bench rifle. I see it more as intended as a hunting rifle. It's lightweight with a very light stock. Um, very compact, very easy to carry, and works very well. And so uh, I don't have the same comparison kind of points that I would have for that rifle that I use on something I intend to shoot primarily off the bench. I did shoot off a Rock BR, and I have an attachment that lets it have a bag rider that sits within a very solid bag rider, and you'll see that in the video that of the, the rig or the picture of the rig. And in addition, it has kind of a rear bag rider that is used to kind of return to battery. Um, if you need more information on that, there are certainly other videos in the channel on that, as well as um, certainly just ask. In any case, I shot from 50 yards off a bench using those. Um, the first target, which is up in the upper corner, uh, was with TAC-22. It had a score of 206 and essentially killed out of 25 targets, uh, 22 would have been considered minute of squirrel. And so it did pretty well. TAC-22 does reasonably well in this rifle. Um, one of the groups was about two, um, was about 2.295 and the second five shot group was 0 0.609. And so while it's certainly not the best it is certainly not the worst and does a pretty good job with uh, the, that gun in terms of for hunting applications and plinking applications. I then shot some Ely Team. An Ely Team has been one of those ammos that is very finicky in this rifle. There's a lot of fail to fires. Usually I just have to recock and then the ammo goes off. Uh, sometimes and if it doesn't, it's hard to remove, eject from the barrel. I have to take and use a stick, uh, a dowel, and pop it out lightly um, sometimes. So I struggle with it. Um, the Ely team shoots well in other rifles. This one, it has to be just the right lot. Some lots shoot really well. This lot didn't shoot very well in this rifle. Uh, I had not shot this lot before in this rifle, so um, it was untested. It had the low score of the group at 193, and it had 21 minute of squirrels. Um, so out of 25 shots, it would have taken 21 squirrels at 50 yards in this particular day. Um, and again, kind of struggled. The size of the groups that it were getting were right around, uh, one group was 0.442 and the other group was 0.752. So um, there's some inconsistencies, which is what shows up in this lot as it goes across with this rifle. I don't see the same kind of inconsistencies necessarily with this ammo and other rifles, so uh, it just happens to be one that my particular BMR doesn't like. I then shot SK Rifle Match, 
it did pretty well. It got a 209 and had 24 minute of squirrels. So it would have gotten all but one. And you could certainly chalk that one up to probably being something I did in terms of Group size, it was putting in groups right around um, 0.63, um, but obviously in terms of the process, I wasn't shooting for groups, I was shooting for score and not shooting for a minute of squirrel. So in this particular case, it's a 24 minute of squirrel and 209 for a USBR uh, target score. And then lastly, I was shooting um, Lapua Center X. The Pooler Center X tends to shoot very well in this rifle. It shot at 221, which is the highest of any of the scores that we tested in terms of this process. It had a group size of 0.351, um, which is pretty consistent. The other sighter group put four in essentially the same hole. Um, and it also did 24 minute of squirrel. And so it did pretty well. And um, if I was going hunting, I probably would choose TAC-22. It's less expensive. It doesn't do much different than the others in terms of minute of squirrel. If I was going to be shooting for very, very small targets or very precise kinds of things, certainly Lapua Center X would be what I would choose at this point for this rifle. That's consistent with previous examples that I have kind of had of this rifle shooting these kinds of ammunition. Um, as always, what will follow is the shooting video. It will be speeded up because I don't think anybody wants to see an hour's worth of shooting. And um, in addition, if there's any questions, feel free to ask. And as always, may all your shooting be X's. Thank you.